everyone, welcome to my first cruise vlog. Eee, I'm so excited, I'm off on my very first cruise. It's currently 4.30 in the morning right now and I'm heading to the airport, Bournemouth airport actually, locally today which is really great, so convenient. Heading to Greece with my best friend Megan, so I'll introduce you to her. But I'm actually working in partnership with p Cruises, who are a brand I'm sure you all know and love already, but p are fantastic. And I've been talking to them for a while and I'm really looking forward to being able to finally experience a cruise holiday. I, like I said, I've never done one before, so this is all new to me. And uh, we're gonna be exploring some beautiful Greek islands, such as Santorini and Rhodes, and Athens we fly into Malta this morning and the whole thing to me is new so I don't really know what to fully expect there's so many activities and pools and shows and it should just be an amazing trip so let's take you along for the journey let's go on my very first cruise good morning hello this is Megan <laughs> travel companion for the week. Um, we're here at the airport and we've got breakfast. We fly at 7am, it's currently 10 to 6, so we're just sitting in Bournemouth Airport, having our breakfast, and then we're going to be flying. Are you excited? So excited. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> So this is the check-in desk, which we've just been to. We've got our cards here with all the information. So yeah, let's go and get the cruise ah! Yay! Look at her! Oceana! We are here. Oh my goodness, this is amazing! I can't believe we're about to go on a cruise! Like. We are so excited and so lucky to be able to do this and have this opportunity. I don't I'm like speechless almost because it's just so, so big. <laughs> Isn't it amazing? Yeah. It's really beautiful. I can't wait to explore. It's going to take us the whole week to explore it, I isn't know, it? I know, it is. Wow. Thank you so much. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Hi, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 Wow. It's your first time on board. It is. Yes. It is. Awesome. <laughs> thank, you. thank you. Okay, we'll do a full like tour, but I just wanted to show you like the very first impression and what we see. Okay, we're on the Canberra deck 9C 705. So let's have a look at what it looks like. Oh my god! Have we got it? Yeah. Oh, I mean, this really is the life, oh isn't it? <laughs> this is amazing. Oh wow! We we've got a balcony room, and this makes a lot of difference. Mm. This it's is so really bright. nice. So we can sit out here and have a drink. Yes. We can play like games. Yes. Oh, I'm so happy. It's very spacious. It actually. is. It's really lovely. Wow. It's so bright in the room. It's so nice. Isn't it nice? Wow, we've got loads of space, loads of storage actually. Yeah. All right, let me give you a quick tour. So I'm gonna go backwards from the balcony. So as you walk in, you've got a little desk. Love all the drawer space. Tea making facilities. We have been very kindly gifted a bottle of champagne, which I think we might need to open 
Next. <laughs> Loads of mirrors, which I'm not gonna lie to you, I was a bit worried about like if there'll be enough space for us to do our hair and makeup. Mm. Definitely didn't need to worry about yeah. that. <laughs> um, lovely little twin room. I like that, like it, like it. And then what have we got? Oh, another mirror here. We can put some more storage on here. And then wardrobe spaces. Oh, we did not have to worry about wardrobe. Yeah, there's loads. We were like, I wonder if all our stuff will fit. Oh my goodness, more mirrors. Wow. Oh wow, you're gonna be very impressed by this. There's actually loads of room oh, and loads of hangers. Oh yeah, that would be absolutely fine. And it goes back here as well. Yeah. yeah. We can oh, have really little Oh wow, look. Oh, that's so That cool. is clever, <laughs> like really it. Nice yeah, that's underwear cute. and things. Oh, and then let's see what the bathroom looks like. Ooh. Oh, how nice. That's pretty nice. It's very compact, but perfect, isn't it? Yeah, that's perfect. I like the shelves. I was a bit worried there wasn't going to be yeah. shelves, actually, but... Oh, white company. Oh, yes. Hello. <laughs> like that. And then let's have a look at the shower as well. Oh, that's pretty big. Oh, well, that is big, actually. And it's got loads of settings. It's not like a box standard one. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow, that's great, isn't it? Nice. Like it. Wow, oh my goodness. Okay, so we've been looking through all the documents that they provide you with all the information, and as we were like looking through and just like getting changed, our suitcases arrived, half past one. Um, so I'm really impressed, they came super speedy, and um, it's weird because you don't see them after we got on the, um, what's it called? coach that's the one. <laughs> we didn't see them after that and they just arrived straight at our door so that is amazing um so the plan is now we're going to go and get some lunch and we're going to go and check out the spa maybe book in some things we're going to see what's going on down there um because we know that'll get very booked up we don't have a clue where anything is yet so oh we're just gonna explore um oh. we're on the top deck oh wow there's people sunbathing already oh my gosh. wow what it's so nice Oh my goodness! Okay. Wow, let's go down here then, maybe see the pools. Wow! Oh my goodness, it's like tiers of pools! Wow! This is insane! So we thought we'd show you Cafe Jardin. We're actually coming here for dinner tomorrow night. Um, and they're serving lunch. Hello, thank you. Oh wow! Look at the buffet, they're gonna give us a table. So we've decided on Cafe Jardin for our first meal for lunch and they have a buffet, salad buffet here. So we've got a really lovely big salad for lunch. Like how amazing does this look? And we've ordered steak sandwiches as well. Yeah. I just wanted to show you the lovely fresh buffet that they have here. And we've just had a nice lunch. Yes, thank you. And then we're gonna get some dessert as well, because why not? So we've finished lunch and we've come down to explore some of the shopping. It's not open at the moment, but looks amazing. Wow, oh, they've got shops over there as well. Okay, deck 12 now, we've come out to the bar. Oh, they have ice cream. Oh, wow. Such a holiday vibe, isn't it? Oh. <laughs> Oh, I love feasts. This is so exciting. We're literally running around like, oh, oh, it's quiet. Is this a spa? Oh, yes. Look how amazing this salon is. I just wanted to show you why it's quite quiet. I cannot believe how amazing this is. Um, they also have nails as well. And uh, she's just giving us some offers. So like if you come on board on the day, they have loads of offers and we just entered a prize draw as well. The gym is insane. They're just giving us a little tour. Actually, there's some people sunbathing out there, which is amazing. Oh, there's a lovely big flag. Wow, full weights room. How amazing. This is great. Mm, really good. This is the adults only area. Look at this. There's also a jacuzzi to my right, but there's people in it. Oh, how exciting. Wow. Oh, really? just go in there if you want. Oh wow. But we have a sauna room in there. Oh wow. Oh my goodness. It's like a proper 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 spa. <laughs> oh wow. That's all the treatment rooms. Oh okay. Oh you can show us a room. She aren't really set up. Oh, that's still that's great. That's basically how it would Oh they're lovely big rooms. Considering we're on a ship, like you know what I mean? That's a lovely space, yeah. We're back in the room and we spent a nice bit of time checking out the spa, the gym, all the facilities, and do you know what? I'm so impressed because look at the list of things that you can do. Honestly, there is everything from facials, nails, hair, 
massage, acupuncture, waxing, uh, fitness and well-being classes as well and if you book on embarkation day they do loads of different offers so we were going to book for tomorrow but actually we saved 10 percent and got an extra 25 minutes each on our treatment so we've put them in for today why not so we're, i'm gonna go for a hot stone full body massage dreamy what a way to start the trip and megan's gonna have a facial really exciting because she never had a facial before so might as well Ooh, i'm oh, really here. looking forward to it it'll be good yeah so we're gonna go to the spa so we have one hour so we're gonna use that time to unpack get ourselves organized and then go to the spa what a treat we're all unpacked and uh we're going to back to the spa to have our treatments but the ship's so big that we lost we lost oh, yeah. hi hello, hello. hello. <laughs> you're gonna be the people we see everywhere <laughs> i just finished my full body massage with hot stones it was so good oh my goodness i think i fell asleep in it oh it was lovely to have a massage the day you come on board I feel so relaxed now. Just so zen. How was your facial? My facial was lovely. I feel like really soft and smooth Ooh. and everything smelled amazing. Yeah. And the lady was really nice. Yeah. Um, oh, what's her name? Hannah. She was really lovely. I had Jennifer and she was good as well. I just asked her. Oh, thank, thank you. you. <laughs> no, they're, they're all really, really lovely here. Yeah. Like, they like just chatty and friendly and yeah. Yeah. Really nice. I had nice music on mm. in the background as well. Yeah. It was really good. When they put all the hot towels over your face and like really like it was just it was done really professionally so it, it was, was really very nice. good we yeah. really enjoyed it it's a nice way to start the holiday wasn't it oh yeah definitely, definitely. i feel so zen i know you do <laughs> i feel like i have a nap same <laughs> followed by one long blast on the ship's alarm bells normally accompanied by the ship's whistle go to the muster station which is specified on the safety notice on the back of your cabin door please have your cruise cards ready to be scanned by personnel near the entrance of the muster stations Okay, so it's a legal requirement that we have to take part in a mandatory um, briefing about safety. We've all had to carry our life jackets down. Thank you. So we're all sitting in a theatre um, and we're going to learn what to do in case of an emergency, basically an evacuation. <laughs> Got your life jacket? I'm ready to go. I'm going to be overboard. <laughs> I'm not being funny, I am in high heels vlogging with a life jacket. This is a new, new experience for me. The drill is done. We're having quite a late dinner, but we're about to leave and literally sail away. I just wanted to show you how lovely it is. Uh, this is the main area with the two pools and there's like a bar down here and we're gonna go to the restaurant that's downstairs where the reception is, but we're just up the top here because we're about to sail away, literally. This is exciting. I don't know why, but it just is. Look. We're leaving the land. <laughs> and we're off! Yay! Oh my goodness, it's so beautiful. Isn't it lovely? It is so lovely. Aww. We're just exploring, we've discovered a nightclub. <laughs> it's empty at the moment, because, you know, it's a bit early. Oh wow, look at this, it's an art gallery. Everywhere we turn. We're just going down for our dinner, and look at all the art. Gorgeous. Oh, look, glass lift. Oh wow. Well, this will give you a good idea of different levels and well, the ship is so big. There's so much to explore. This restaurant is gorgeous. I love it. So this is the restaurant. We are doing freedom dining, which means that we can come and eat whenever we like. And we're in this restaurant. Um, and I, the menu is just absolutely insane. Like amazing selection, beautiful dishes. I have no idea what I'm going to go for because it all looks so amazing. So this is the cranberry sauce and the brie. Megan has steak and chips and veg. And I've got sea bream, uh, veg and potatoes. It smells so good. Megan's got apple crumble. And I've got the signature dessert, which is like a pistachio cake with ice cream. That was such a lovely meal. I ate all of it. I'm very content and I'm very tired because it's been an amazing first day and I was up really early so we're both feeling a bit tired and ready to go to sleep in fact it's actually still quite early I think it oh, was five to ten um so yeah probably gonna call it a night here for the first day and see you tomorrow oh before I end the vlog for today our cabin steward her name's Anna has turned down our beds for us she's placed my pajamas on the end and she's given us little chockies how cute is that okay now i'm going to bed good morning everyone it's day two it's friday and it's our sea day and this is our view to wake up to this morning it's absolutely beautiful we've got a bit of sunrise 
over there. Very peaceful. Wow. I slept like a baby. The beds are so comfortable. The pillows are comfortable. Um, and I didn't actually feel much swaying or rocking at all. Like it took a little getting used to when we were having dinner last night. But um, it's, it's very, very calm, very calm. Beautiful to have this. So see day to day. Plans are just chill, sunbathe, have breakfast. Literally just a day where we sit. Um, probably gonna go to the adults only pool up there. Tonight is our first formal night and we've got a reservation for dinner at Cafe Jardin. It's gonna be the captain's speech and like welcome drinks. So we're gonna go down for that as well. Um, but yeah, just gonna chill in bed. Listen and watch the world go by. Beautiful. We've come for breakfast and they've given us a view by the window. Look at that. How romantic. <laughs> okay, so this is the restaurant we had dinner in last night and this is breakfast. Pretty much have everything, full English, omelettes, fruit. Oh, and each day there's a special. Have you seen what today's special is? What day is it? Friday. Mmm, <laughs> can't say kidneys in my cup of tea. <laughs> Just wanted to show you the shop. Look how beautiful this is. This is so nice. Look at these lovely ladies and men dancing. <laughs> so a couple of top tips for cruising that I was told is to get some of these magnets. I'll link these ones below if you're interested. These are from Amazon and they're just super strong magnets. So we're using them to hook things on. So this is some of my bags and like zip up jackets and stuff. Can you see? Super handy. And another thing is a lanyard. Um, they do actually sell these in the shop if you don't own one. Saying how handy the hooks are. They're very, very handy. Brogan has aced it with the hacks. Yes. Cruise hacks. Cruise hacks. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think if we come across any more cruise hacks, I'll let you know. But yeah, it looks like it's a little bit grey out there, to be honest. So, but we're gonna go and uh, we're gonna go and sunbathe. Maybe sit in the hot tub. There's two hot tubs up in the adult-only area. The weather isn't quite on our side. It's definitely starting to rain. Uh, <laughs> it's definitely. Uh, it'll pass. It's gonna. It's gonna. The sun's gonna come out later. Right, because the weather is not that fabulous right now, we have decided to go to the gym. It's here. I'm gonna go for a run. Megan's gonna do a workout, and we're gonna do that for the next like half hour, hour. So, yeah, I'm not gonna take you with me, but we're going to the gym. Well, look at my face. I look beautiful. I'm not one of those people that looks like the same as they did when they finished their workout. Um, yeah, I ran for 20 minutes straight for the first time ever. So I'm pretty proud of myself today. Um, and I had a view of the sea and it was amazing. So yeah, it was really, really good. Um, it was quite busy in there actually. Obviously lots of people like to um, use the gym when they come on a cruise. Wow, we've come down to lunch. And it looks like they've got a full barbecue spread out here. I just wanted to show you my lunch. I've got steak and chicken and some salad -y bits. Okay, we've come for afternoon tea and already there's little cakes and I think we're gonna have scones. All right, so we wanted to show you our full um, spread for afternoon tea. We have pies, sandwiches, tea cakes, scones, Megan's got a crumpet, and then we've got cakes and actual tea. <laughs> this is amazing, isn't it? Yeah, we're excited. <laughs> we are ready for dinner. We have spent the afternoon after our afternoon tea chilling reading we like dressing up don't we for the evening we do we do we look at you up. you look fabulous thank you so do you we're wearing all black both of us although you've got rose gold heels but you can't see them mm, it kind of matches the earrings slightly i think they're nice yeah we're going to cafe jardin for dins um which is marco pierre white yeah i think it's a marco pierre white restaurant yeah his name's mentioned in it as well yeah i think it's his restaurant Which italian yay let's go for dinner so we're back at cafe jardin it's beautiful here really really lovely but what i really like is that it's kind of on the top floor where i think the captain is going to do a speech so our reservation was at half seven but i think he's doing a speech at eight and you can see like the buzz of people and everyone's in their formal dresses and tuxes and it's really lovely. And so we've got some bread and olives to start and then I've ordered prawns and ravioli. What did you go for? I went for a cheese board with um, like cured meats mm. and then I went for like parma ham, wrapped, no sorry, chicken wrapped chicken parma ham. ham. Sounds so good. We already decided our desserts as well because it's a, it's a trio, like a small little dessert platter. So we were like, oh, 
We're treated today. Master of Oceana, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Captain Robert Cabby. There he is. And coming in the first officially welcoming on board Bar. An exciting week ahead of us, the Green Highlands. Of course, starting with Pyrex tomorrow, a concrete jungle Pyrex. For the main reason we're going there is so that we can give you an opportunity to go to Athens. The captain's telling a few stories, I'm not going to film them all, but one of them he just said about um, people get married and the, there's a couple over here that got married today and they got, they met on the ship 10 years ago and it made me well up because it's so sweet. <laughs> just finished our meal and it was beautiful. I had heart-shaped ravioli, the pasta was gorgeous. One thing we have noticed, I mean day two, is the food is exceptional quality, like really high standard. And that includes everything from breakfast to our afternoon tea today and our dinners. And another thing is the customer service here is amazing. Everyone's so friendly and very polite and just going above and beyond. And it's something that hasn't gone unnoticed so I just thought I'd mention it because um, we're very, very impressed, aren't we? Very impressed. Yeah, it's really lovely. They really make you feel at home and like they want to chat to you. Which yeah, they nice. do. As to it, definitely. 100%. Mm -hmm. Love it. We're having the best time. We've just decided to do a little mini photo shoot here by the flowers. And they're real flowers and they smell insane. So we just had dinner up there. There's all these different levels. Love it. Oh, down there's quite nice. Oh, he's doing like professional photos. Oh. We're in the theatre and we're about to watch a show called DNA. I don't know what it's like, but we're gonna give it a go. Ladies and gentlemen, give them a round of applause. Captain Andrew, DNA! Woo! That was so good. Good morning, everyone. It's day three, and we've arrived in Athens. So it's weird that we've been seeing just sea for the last day, but now we are in port. And unfortunately, it's raining, which obviously, we can't control the weather. We're gonna still go out. We're still gonna um, go and see, we want to see the Acropolis today. Acropolis, which I have seen once before. Okay, we've just left the ship. It's just gone eight o'clock, no, nine o'clock in the morning. Plan is we're gonna go get our tickets for Acropolis first. We've had our breakfast. A bit gloomy about the weather. <laughs> it's not cool, is but it? But we're being positive. And we're going out anyway. Yeah. And we're wearing our sunglasses. So we're being optimistic. We are. Megan's like got a mask out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there goes mine. I'm gonna get a taxi and just see see where the day takes us. I like when we just explore. Yeah, it's just nice to wander, isn't it? Yeah. Because you don't need any exactly. pressure. Exactly. The sun is trying to make its way through the clouds for us. And we're just walking past our, our Oceana. So we went to get a taxi and the taxi guy told us that it was actually cheaper for us um, to get a hop on and off bus. And he told us to come around the corner and uh, just pick one. It was 15 euros. Per person and uh, we're just looking at the map. Oh, this is our route. So we're down here. Where are we? We're number 15 here um, He's told us to go either here or up there for food We're going to the Acropolis which is there and then if we want we can do the whole route So we just thought this would be the best way didn't we? Yeah, exactly and it's got mm. like an open top as well so we can just see everything sit and in there. Really Exactly and so you can just like sit and just yeah explore. Bit of an easier way of doing it, I think. I and do. So we can not be like have to make small talk with taxi driver because you get like a little audio book on these. Yeah, I like that. We've got little headphones. I can't hear anything yet though. Mm -hmm. I'll just turn it up. It's music. The port is imperious. Imperious? Is that how you say it? I think so. And we're gonna go into the centre of Athens. I feel like such tourists. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> As the light startled our eyes, we let go of disguise. Wow, here's our first stop. This is the back of this theatre, Herod's Theatre. The building was completed in 161 AD and then renovated in 1950. I mean, obviously this is a popular place, but I'm trying to, I'm going to try and show you because it's moving quite quickly. whole thing without any rain and it's just starting to rain but it's actually kind of muggy like it's actually kind of warm-ish it's weird 
but we've we've enjoyed it. It's been good, hasn't yeah, it? It's been really nice actually learning about it. Yeah, it's cool to do it. Very popular, clearly. Something to do when you come to Athens, anyway. Um, but we're gonna we're gonna go meet you back down now. Get on our hop off on off hop off hop on and off bus, probably. See how we go. Wow, can you see the ruins down there as well? And then down here and down there and at the top there too. Okay, so we finished at Acropolis and we've come back on our hop on hop off bus and we have decided to have lunch on the ship because um, the weather and we just felt feel like we want to have our Greek lunch maybe tomorrow when we go to Suda Bay. And here she is. Absolutely insane when you see it from the ground, honestly, like like the, just the scale of it. It is so quiet today. There is no one around. Everyone must be off exploring. Uh, but we're very content. I think that's the best thing about a cruise as well is that you can just do things all at your own pace, really. I'm not being funny. We're down at the uh, adults only area and it's so chilly, but we're going in the hot tub uh, because why not? We went down to the hot tub, sat in there for a bit, went in the spa, went in the steam room and the sauna, we just chilled and, uh, and then we had a shower in there as well. Great showers. Now we're gonna go to one of the bars and maybe play a few games, get a drink, and just literally just chill. It's only like oh, it's only about two o'clock, and we're gonna, I think we're gonna go for afternoon tea at four. So we've come to this bar, and they actually have Costa Coffee on board, which is pretty amazing. Oh, I fancy one of these fruit coolers or something. We've got a little bit of piano, some music playing. Oh, he's actually he's playing. Yeah. He's a pianist. It's not even over the speakers. We've ordered some drinks and then we're gonna play <laughs> Dino Dump, which is one of my favourite card games. So, Brogan is teaching me how to play Dino Dump and she was so confident in it. Um, I just want to show you one little thing. Oh, El Brogan. How you feeling? I was. <laughs> just you wait. Just you wait. <laughs> Great feeling. Please. Great feeling. What happened? Nothing. <laughs> Basically, we're trying to feel better, Megan. Don't believe you're doing right. I think you lost, Megan. This is the evidence. <laughs> <laughs> How's it going over there, Megan? Nice face, Megan. How many stickers do you have? I'm doing quite well over here. Megan, <laughs> mm, not so much. I mean, it looks pretty. I smell. Yeah. <laughs> they actually smell. They actually oh. Have a smell. Yeah, they do a little bit. Oh, no, well, anyway. Again. Again. It's hard to fit it on your yes. forehead, isn't it? <laughs> so whoever wins this is the winner. Yeah. Before she quickly clears away the evidence. That's hold all those. The reigning champion, although I have three stickers as well, is me. Well done. You win. Win as luck. She's not sour, is she? I hate losing. <laughs> So we're back at afternoon tea and we're just having, just, we're having scones and tea. Maybe a few of those, because they've actually changed them, they're different cakes today. Wow, we've got some blue sky guys, we've got some blue sky. Okay, we've come up to the top deck, obviously we spent a lot of our time here, we were in that hot tub earlier. The weather is stunning. It's actually quarter seven, like, hello, quarter to seven. We've just come into our room and I don't know if you can appreciate this, but the sun is directly in our room and it is beautiful. So we've just got the new horizon for tomorrow. I don't know if I said, but they, they drop these at our door every day for the next day. So here's tonight's one and I'm going to show you a bit of info in it actually. In the book, the main things that are important to us is the dress code, which tonight is tropical theme. And then uh, we highlight anything that we think we might like or possibly want to go and look at. We're going to go and look at our photos we took last night. A um, bit about where we're going that day. And then it's literally a full itinerary. So like I said we highlight anything that's maybe applicable to us um, and also this is quite handy because it's got the opening times to the restaurants so that's today's so here's tomorrow's one as you can see we are going to go to Suda Bay um, arrive at 8 a.m. and we have to be back by 4 30 so we've come for dinner and we have got our starters and I just thought I'd show you what we're having I'm waiting a little bit later actually because it is five past nine um, but Megan's got a soup and she looks beautiful, look at her. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Megan's got soup and I've got the risotto. I can't remember what it is. Pesto risotto, I think. I know. It smells good. Yeah, it does. Yay. Megan has the duck tonight and I have a steak tonight. Just kind of what I fancied. It looks amazing. Oh yes, this is our dessert. The food is so amazing. 
Look how good this looks. So we're in the Yacht and Compass uh, bar and we've just been listening to the live music, the band. They were amazing, weren't they? So good. And now we're playing cards, we have a drink and it's 11 o'clock. So this is like perfect cruise evening, isn't it? Just chilling. Yeah, it is, isn't it? I love it. And the music was so good. Like, I just wasn't expecting a full band. They're great. So, yeah, this is what we're up to tonight. Tomorrow, we're going to Suda Bay, which looks beautiful. So, we'll take you along for that as well. So, I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning from Suda Bay. Wow, we've woken up and this is the view. How lovely. We actually had a really late night because we just stayed up chatting. Do you ever have those nights with your pals where you just stay up and chat? That was us. We went to bed quite late and uh, we've woken up a bit later today. Haven't set an alarm, which has been really nice. So we're gonna go for a late breakfast in Cafe Jardin today. And then we're gonna go and sunbathe for a bit. Just take our morning really leisurely. Then we're gonna go for lunch out in Suda Bay today in the nearby town and we have to be back on board by half past four so currently it's about half nine quarter to ten and um that's our day I'm so excited I love it they're doing like a safety drill but I just wanted to show you my um pancakes we've both got pancakes tea and a smoothie here at Cafe Jardin this is quickly becoming one of our like favorite restaurants look at the sunshine we're up here um, today, so we're over by like the main pool area. There's kids swimming in the pool, so I'm not gonna film there, but look, isn't this lovely? I can't even see the camera, but <laughs> just know we're lying and sunbathing and we're soaking up all the rays and we're very happy. <laughs> okay, happy days. Daiquiris by the pool, sunbathing. Yes, cheers. We're getting the city bus as it was only three euros forty each and that would take us down to the city centre. We're gonna get some lunch, we're gonna go and explore a little bit and then return us back. Yay! So we're waiting for one more dish, but um, we've got Greek salads. We didn't know that they would be two like that, so never mind. Zucchini balls. And then we've got tzatziki, which is amazing. If you've never tried tzatziki, it's like a traditional Greek um, dish, like sauce. We've got meatballs, which dip those in those, heaven. And then, yeah, we've got some bread as well. Nice cold Coke, and we're sitting in a little courtyard. And this is our little view. And masaka, well, cheesy meat in them? Yeah, I think so. Oh, wow. It looks so good. It tastes amazing. Yeah, awesome. so fresh and yummy. So we just finished our lunch, and just in case you're interested, this little place is called Evie's Cafe Restaurant in Suda Bay. How amazing was our lunch? I can't even put into words. I'm a little bit shocked. I, I eat to the point of that. <laughs> and this is my first proper Greek food in Greece, and I'm literally, I love Greek food, and it's the best thing I've ever Yay! Honestly, been incredible. It was amazing, wasn't it? I haven't had a meal like that in so long. Oh, that's so good. Oh, Megan loved it. It was really tasty. Look how pretty this shop is. We caught our eye um, on these little bracelets. Handcrafted in Athens. Love it. Through, cause we only want what's best, what is best for you. We uh, turned around and the mountains have actually got snow on top and ice, and it stays like that all through until May, I believe. Um, but yeah, how cool is that? We're just looking in the cutest little shop. Megan's buying a dress because it's so nice. Might be one of the last people back today. All right, we finished at Suda Bay and we're leaving. Look at that, how cool is that? Next stop, Santorini. We're really excited about Santorini, aren't we? Mm -hmm. I can't wait. Mm. We had a nap this afternoon and I'm talking like 6 p.m. nap. And so it's quite late now. It is about, no, it's nine o'clock. We're just really enjoying the getting ready, like, 
part of it. So, like, yeah, I'm doing my hair, makeup. I'm in this little dress. This is from New Look. And uh, we've got some drinks. So, uh, we're going to go for dinner now. But we can eat as late as half nine. Um, because we're on Freedom Dining. And that means that we can just go down whenever we like. So, yeah, we're probably going to be the last to eat dinner. But um, we're happy, aren't we? We are. Oh, we are. <laughs> oh, we've got grilled halloumi to start tonight. It's both of us. Mm -hmm. This looks amazing. Thank you so much. Oh, wow. Is our torsellini for dinner tonight? Wow, look at this. <laughs> I just wanted to show you how cute it is, Anna. She makes our beds and while we're out. And she does little things like she changes our glasses and like gives us fresh beach towels in the bathroom and things. And it's just appreciated a lot. We like it. That Motown swing band trio. Well, the trio of the band. What were they called? Flying? Fly Rise. Fly, Fly Rise. rise. They were called Fly, Fly Rights. I think. They were really, really good. We enjoyed it, didn't we? Yeah, it was really good tempo. Everyone was yeah. moving and dancing. It was, a, it it was, was so long, much. actually. Yeah. Like almost an hour. Yeah, definitely. The entertainment on board is amazing. Yeah, it was really good. Really exceeding my expectations. I know Astonishing is going to be so good. I don't know if I've said already, but last year I got the chance to see the premiere of Piano's new show called Astonishing that was created by Stephen Mulhern. It's going to be premiering here on Oceana this week and Stephen Mulhern is actually going to be on board um, and that's on Wednesday next week so next week yeah it was Sunday today well in a few days obviously um, and so we're really really looking forward to that too but just enjoying like eating our dinner and then coming out and going and seeing a show it's just a really lovely way to spend our evening so I'm going to get into bed now I'm going to read a bit of my book um, tomorrow we are going to Santorini so I'm really really looking forward to that I think that's like my the highlight like in terms of like my favorite place i'm looking forward to visiting the most santorini is so gorgeous so we're actually doing an excursion tomorrow which i'll tell you a little bit more about tomorrow but it's called the village of oa oa i'm not sure i need to learn the pronunciation of that it's spelled oia um and a swim we're going to go and explore santorini and um we thought it'd be great to do it as an excursion with pino you can um book these in advance or or you can speak to um the host here at the, on the beginning of the day and they can book you on but we have to leave 8 45 we come back at 2 45 so we'll show you more about that tomorrow but we're really looking forward to it so we'll see you tomorrow good morning from santa Rini. oh i'm so excited so because our ship is too large for any port uh, or marina um we actually have to get little tenders today so like smaller boats or maybe a little ferry i have no idea what it's going to look like but that will take us to land so it looks absolutely beautiful it looks like the sun's gonna be out today for us um but it's about quarter to eight and we have to be down for our excursion in half an hour so let's go oh so these are the smaller boats that are going to take us to land how exciting wow we're on the boat we're ready for the day yeah, if not a little bit tired mm, it's a bit early for us <laughs> We've arrived in Ia, that's how you pronounce it. This is the little town. Oh, it's so cute. Remember you and I would always find somewhere to hide. Wow. Isn't this pretty? So pretty. Wow. It's insane, isn't it? Gorgeous. We're just going up and down these little cobbled streets. Okay, so we've just been doing a little shoot. It's so cute, but there's so many like little zigzags. You, you see it in photos. And I don't know why I just thought, I don't know what I expected. It's prettier than I expected. 
it's just very um, hilly, so you're going up and down and zigzagging around. It's kind of like a maze, actually, but it's gorgeous. Like, it's so gorgeous. Wow. So pretty. This is cute. So we've moved from uh, Ia and we're down one of the beaches. Oh, wow. So we've come down to the beach. This is stunning. This is what holidays are all about. So we're by the beach and we've ordered our lunch and we're literally going to eat it with a view of the sea and this is just bliss. Excited. It's so warm by the beach. I'm actually in the shade because I don't want to burn. <laughs> this is the best way to do it, I think. Really enjoyed having our excursion today, not having to worry about taxis or how we get around. I do really recommend looking at excursions if you are going on a piano cruise because, oh, they're really great. <laughs> There's more food. Wowie! Ziki and Pitta, we've got a feta pastry and we've got, is it aubergines? Um, no, courgettes. No courgettes, that's fine. As you can tell, we enjoyed that a lot. Okay, we're getting on a cable car now to take us back down to the port. The river's gonna cry when you're gone, 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 gone. The river's gonna cry when you're gone, 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 gone. The river's gonna cry when you're gone, 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 gone. Oh, wow. We have photos of the uh, volcano when it was active. Okay, this is a better uh, view of the boat that's going to take us back to our ship, Oceana, over there. We've just got to go through a security screening here. Okay, so we're just listening to the live music. Up on the top here, it's probably a bit windy. That's Santorini in the background that we're going to be leaving very soon. All right, so we're going to listen to the music and I also have a cup of tea. It's about as British as it gets. Tea. We're ready for dinner now. It's a half eight-ish. We're a bit earlier today. Um, I'm wearing a really pretty dress that I got from Abercrombie & Fitch. We're going a bit more casual tonight because it's formal night tomorrow. We're gonna go for our dinner in uh, in the main restaurant and we've got some drinks and we're just, we're just happy. So off we go to dinner. Oh, we've got French onion soup for start today. Oh, this smells so good. Megan's got the bacon loin. Is it gammon? Basically, I think it's just a big bacon steak. Oh, look at the pineapple. I know, it's a chuck. Oh my god, it looks amazing. <laughs> Dig in. They've got loads of art in a gallery and it's really lovely to walk through here in the evening and they've got new ones up today. Mickey, love that. Finished our dinner, it was lovely. Skip dessert tonight just because we're full and we're actually really tired because we've been taking a little nap in the afternoon as you know and we didn't today so we're just shattered so we're actually going to go back to the room early well I say early it's nine o'clock and read our books and I might watch a bit of Netflix and that's our evening tonight just taking it chill aren't we just we are, we are. a bit more of a chill one tonight so five busy days so I think we deserve it yeah but we've got four more night tomorrow so it's going to be a late one tomorrow so we're an early one tonight um but yeah that's it for tonight camera deck. deck is us we're going to get into bed and um we'll see you tomorrow Good morning from Rhodes. i'm loving waking up in all these different places we're here in Rhodes. Slightly cloudy, but actually the sun is trying to make a breakthrough. We're starting nice and leisurely, and we're gonna go for breakfast, and then I think we can walk from everywhere. Well, we can walk to everywhere from here. It looks gorgeous. Loads to go and see, so yeah, let's rock and roll. Let's ignore the noise of the digger doing stuff below me, but hello, this is lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. I like this a lot. It's day six and we're only discovering that there's a whole library in here. Through the card room, there's a whole library and you can do book swaps. And I'm not sure, there's just hundreds of books in here. So, um, and there's puzzles. I'm gonna show you the puzzles. This is very satisfying to me because I love puzzles. Oh, I really want to do it. Oh, wow. And then there's one over here as well that's been done. Look at this. How lovely, it's so peaceful in here. The plan is we're going for our breakfast and then we're gonna go and explore roads. And then this afternoon we're gonna sunbathe Then we might have afternoon tea again. Then it's a formal night tonight. So we're getting all dressed up. Excited. Excited. Yay. This is very pretty. What a lovely place to stroll. We're just gonna go all the way around and um, maybe go find some shops. Now 
Let's rewind this. Yeah, we will send. All right. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> Look how lovely Oceana looks from over here. Beautiful. I just love the fact that we wake up in the morning, we're in somewhere completely different, and we can just explore. Okay, so we've come over to the new town now, which has got more shops modernized shops like cook shops that we obviously know and they have a Sephora here so we're gonna go mooch because we can't get Sephora in the UK. This is fabulous. I'm so excited. We've had a right mix on this trip haven't we? Yeah, I love it. Oh I do love shopping for makeup. This is so nice and skincare. Oh yeah. So as part of our trip here, we're taking those pictures for Instagram and we've just found them this beautiful little like courtyard. Oh, it's lovely. Actually, you can, you can go in there. It looks like there's some sort of market on or something. I did a little damage. I'll do you a haul later. <laughs> okay, so we've come up to a rooftop bar. We saw so many in this little square. We just thought it'd be nice to have a cocktail and sit in the sun. Love it. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Yeah, Fabulous. Cheers. Thanks, cheers. Oh yes. Okay, so we've got a gyros, which is a Greek kind of kebab, I think, in the sun with another cocktail because we can. And look at this. Oh my god, this looks amazing. Oh my god, I'm so hungry. That was the most amazing lunch and it's so sunny and such gorgeous view. Uh, but now we're gonna get back to the boat because it's four past one and we're ready for sunbathing o'clock. Wow, look at this blue. Look how blue the sea is. All right, I'm doing a Sephora haul. Actually, before I do, I bought this little towel from one of the markets. I've always wanted one of these for when I travel. It's by a brand called My Breeze, a sand beach towel. That was 12 euros. I got some samples of bits as well, but the things I actually bought were some of the Sephora range. So we've got a Sephora coconut lip balm, the body jelly, coconut water, the dry shampoo, Kat Von D locket setting powder, which is like a small version, and then a small version of Um Decay uh, eyeshadow primer potion. And then this is by a brand called Frank Body. It's a coconut coffee scrub for my arms because I have like bobbly arms basically, and um, I thought this would be good for me. So, anyway, that's my little Sephora haul. So, we've been sunbathing by the pool for a few hours, and we've been reading our books and had a drink, and now we've come down to the main restaurant for afternoon tea because why not such a huge perk so we're actually just gonna have scones and tea because that's what we fancy here we are for our tea and look at the view we've got a window seat today we're ready for dinner we've got drinks megan's just gone to get her phone and this is my dress um, it's like a midi dress from Zara. I like it, it's pretty. So we're gonna go upstairs and take some pictures while the lighting's nice and then we're gonna come back to our room and carry on with a couple of drinks on the balcony as we set sail. Look at us. Yay! Formal night. Formal night. Ready. <laughs> we're just watching the sunset. <laughs> Here we are. Oh, look at that. Now that's pretty lighting actually, look. Oh, that is pretty. Yay! <laughs> Look at that sunset. That's beautiful. Wow. <laughs> We're just applauding all the chefs, the waiters, the staff, and you cannot fault the exceptional service and hard work that they put in. Okay, we're in the um, bar area having a drink. Stephen Mulhern is just there. He's just there. <laughs> we have just been socialising in the nightclub and saw a couple of people that we've said hello to over the course of the week. We've had such a great day. Tomorrow, I'm going to take my makeup off as I talk, tomorrow is a sea day, so we're not going to be stopping anywhere. We're making our way back to Malta. I don't know what the weather will be like, but we're just on board all day, so imagine lots of chilling, reading, and we'll probably flick through the horizon and see what's on. There's so much to do. Um, you could never be bored because, it, I mean, look at the schedule. It's jam-packed so 
yeah that is what we're up to last full day and then we'll be heading back to Bournemouth which is so sad so yeah that's it so we'll catch you tomorrow I'm absolutely useless this morning because I was so sleepy and so hungry I just kind of scoffed my breakfast I'm not quite finished but it was eggs benedict or eggs royale it was with ham so today is our sea day so probably not going to be vlogging too much today we're going to go find a spot and just sunbathe and chill listen to some music we're just good chill today aren't we mm -hmm. enjoy just... the last bits of sun yeah our last day and then tonight for dinner we're eating in the beach house which we have a reservation for and they do like seafood and steak so i think that's up on the top wet near the pool and then the astonishing show is on tonight which i talked about yesterday so really looking forward to seeing that again and hearing what megan thinks of it as well because it's a really good show okay so it's a bit windy but we're down at the adults only area so they've got a couple of pools they've got a hot tub over there we're just gonna sit here and something but it's quarter to three and we've just come back to the room we've we've kind of been going all around we read a bit of our book took some photos for instagram today and then we're thinking of doing afternoon tea again at four. Then we've got a reservation at Beach House at half seven and then the astonishing show is at half 10. So that's our day. So we've come down for our last afternoon tea. The last one. The last one. We're gonna miss this, aren't we? This is like probably my highlight, I think. My top, my it's been good, hasn't it? Yeah, it's been so good. We've loved having cakes and so much selection, I think. Mm -hmm. And it's so tasty. And I've just loved having a cup of tea in the afternoon. We've had afternoon tea and we've got quite a bit of time to kill. So. We decided we're gonna go down to the spa. Spa again. No, not the spa, it's the, the nail salon opposite. I'm gonna show you it. And uh, Megan's gonna get her nails done, which is exciting. I'm saying I haven't had my nails done in years, so I'm gonna treat my fail. Definitely. Excited, because I already have mine. But how nice that you can get your hair and your nails done. Eyebrows, eyelashes. Eyelashes, everything. They have like full spa salon services, it's insane. So we're gonna go and do that for a bit now. Oh, it's hard when it's wobbly, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna leave you to it. I'll be back in five. Bye. bye bye. Megan's just in the spa having her nails done and that's her little treat. And I also wanted to give myself a little treat. On board, the shops are really great and they have a really nice selection of different brands and things. So I treated myself and got a handbag. I just thought this would be so apt um, considering, you know, we've been on a cruise. I love the anchor on it, it's Ralph Lauren. She saw it at the beginning of the week and then um, decided to get it today. I love, 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 love this. So that is what I've purchased this afternoon. Okay, so we're ready for dinner and we've arrived at the beach house. Just thought I'd show you this is the menu quite casual We've got buffalo wings chicken ribs oh it looks great megan's got the crackling to start and i have nachos i love it that we get to watch well watch the sea and the world go by look at that beautiful bernie's sour cream and barbecue wow look at this sizzling mm. Looks amazing. Wow, look at your cheesecake. Oh, oh yeah, it's marshmallow. marshmallow. And then I've got a chocolate fudge cake. Just finished our dinner at the beach house. It was really, really lovely to sit by that window. Really enjoyed having my steak. You know when you like cook it yourself a bit? It was really nice. So, did you enjoy your dinner? Yeah, it was really, really good. It was good. Yeah. We're now off to see the astonishing show. We're just in reception and I just wanted to show you how cute these couples are dancing okay so we're 25 minutes early and look you can tell already we're on the last uh, viewing of the day we all get given a gold envelope and we can't open it okay. yet i'd also want to say a massive thank you to phil who's the head honcho of entertainment for piano cruises for, for giving us this chance to do it it did take a long time i think it's paid off um and please enjoy it and thank you so much for watching it tell all your friends and all that sort of stuff and if you are going home tomorrow please have a safe journey and uh, maybe i'll see you out and about who knows uh have a lovely evening. Thank you one more time for watching. From me, Steve Mulhern. See you later. Bye bye. Ladies and gentlemen, Steve Mulhern. We're back from Astonishing. It's been almost a year since I've seen it actually, so it was really exciting to see it again. So good, so good. I don't want to give anything away, but it's basically a show that has been created around like magic and illusion, but there's also a lot of singing and dancing. Costume changes, the quality of the dancing and the singing is just just amazing like really 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 good wasn't it it was amazing I yeah felt like i was watching something that was on the west end show yeah it was to that like caliber yeah i completely yeah. agree it was yeah. very very good I yeah i didn't want it to end either <laughs> no. it was very clever there's a couple of acts in it that you just are blown away a bit like i've it's not seen it's astonishing <laughs> it is astonishing <laughs>
you just don't know how they do it, I guess. But yeah, it was a nice way to end our week, wasn't it? It was, it was really nice. It's kind of been like <laughs> leading up to it, so I'm really glad. Yeah. I was saying, because everyone's spoken about it and I haven't seen it, I was really hoping that it was like it was going to be as good as it I wanted it to be. Yeah. And it really, really was. It's it so was. worth it. I would pay to go see that. Yeah, me yeah. too. It was really nice. Yeah, really, really, really good. So um, yeah, we really enjoyed it. And now we're going to get into bed. Sadly, that's it on our last night. I'll carry on vlogging tomorrow as well. I really hope you've enjoyed following along with our week this week. Uh, it has, it's gone quick, but not too quick. Yeah, it's, I feel really satisfied. I yeah. feel like we've done a lot. Um, it's been very varied and super enjoyable, but I'll talk more about all that tomorrow, but we're gonna get into bed, go to sleep. It's been a great night. Morning, all packed up. I'm gonna show you how beautiful it is outside this morning, because we're back in Malta. And um, wow, it's a sunny day. Oh, it's so beautiful. I wish I could stay longer. Here we are, back to where we started, which blows my mind a bit. It's 7.40, Mark, We went back, we went forward now when we got here, and then when we left Malta, we went forward another hour, and now we've come back to Malta, we've come back an hour. And I'm not kidding, it's kind of confused me, and all my clocks are wrong, but anyway. I'm sad to be leaving, but honestly, we've had the most amazing, amazing time. I definitely want to do another cruise for sure. I'm gonna pack up my stuff now and go get breakfast. Okay, this is it. We're about to say goodbye to Oceana. It's been a blast. Here she is. Bye Oceana. We'll see you soon, hopefully. Look at her, she's beautiful. So we're in the airport and we've been delayed um, and we've had to queue quite a lot through the different sections, but we're at our our boarding gate but we're meant to leave at 11 40 and it's now saying 12 15 so just waiting waiting to get on the plane it's hard to be leaving i'm looking at all the pictures you know when you're standing and waiting just looking at all your holiday photos like take me back already <laughs> we're in Bournemouth. this is the last we're gonna see megan for now thank you for an amazing holiday fun. thank you so much for bringing me along we had the best awesome. time didn't we <laughs> It was until the next one, eh? Yep, there'll be another one, I'm sure. Until the next one. Okay, bye! <laughs> okay, so I'm back home. I've got a lot of, like, unpacking and organising to do. But I am home and the trip has come to an end, so it's time to say goodbye. Thank you so much for watching this vlog. I also just wanted to say a huge, huge thank you to P&O for such a special week. I could literally talk for like an hour all about the cruise. So if you'd like, let me know and I can maybe do a cruise Q&A of some description because I think I learned a lot and I, I want to be able to talk more about it. I just don't know if this is the best place to do it. So let me know if you'd like to see that kind of video. Overall, I had such a great time. I think we've covered pretty much everything, but I, my top things about it was I loved the variety of waking up and going to different places. I loved the food and the quality of the food and the service. The entertainment was really, really high quality. I liked the, the freedom and the flexibility to go completely at our own pace. So we could wake up in the morning and we could sunbathe or we could go into a port and it was just amazing to have like well shape the holiday how we wanted to shape it and also just how much there is to do on the cruise there were so many things we didn't get a chance to do um like quiz nights and bingo and activities that we honestly could have stayed on board for another week and still not done everything so uh if you are interested in piano and you'd like to book your own cruise i will leave that link below for you and go check them out and if you haven't seen all my pictures over on instagram yet then make sure you go over there because we took some really really pretty photos and i cannot also end this vlog without saying a huge thank you to my friend megan um, it was such a laugh having her. We haven't done a week-long holiday ever before, I don't think. We've done trips before, but not for that long. And it was just hilarious. It was just so much fun. And um, I hope we get the chance to do it again in the future. So thank you again for watching. Thank you to Pino for such a fab holiday and opportunity. And let me know what you thought of this video. Let me know if you've ever done a cruise or what types of cruises you've done. What shall I do next? And um, I will see you again in my weekly vlogs or in my future travel videos. So if you're not subscribed already, please click subscribe and support my channel. And I'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.